It was a Saturday night in downtown Manhattan. The war had ended and spirits were high. The streets were bursting with lights and glitterati, wise guys fishing for dames. I've spent years roaming the streets of New York. I've seen all kinds of crooks, the sleazy dregs of humanity looking to exploit and corrupt innocents for heightened status and personal gain. So I spend my time and use my abilities to seek out and correct all the wrongdoing in this god-awful city. Take this bartender, for example. He's nothing but a wolf, picking up naive rich women in hopes that they'll share whatever money they have with him. Every weekend without fail, a new dame falls victim to his charm. But when they don't give him what he wants, he's quick to move on. Last night, he made the foolish mistake of taking home Nancy Green, the wife of New York's most successful insurance salesman, M.V.S. Green. But when he asked her for her money, Nancy fled, horrified and embarrassed over her affair with the charming, greedy bartender. So I made him an offer. I promised him one wish, but in return, his enemy would have the same fortune, but with twice the reward. He told me he wanted 100,000 bucks. He was so desperate to see his prize, he left without question. It didn't take long for Envious Green to turn up, storming up to Ace Africa Club looking for his wife, Nancy. I told him of the sordid affair and handed him proof. He took them from me and looked through. I could see the disbelief in his eyes. Envious looked at me, and I revealed my true identity as the goddess Jupiter. When I offered him the same deal, in a haze of lust and anger, he accepted and plotted his revenge. When I asked Envious for his wish, already having all he could ever need, he plotted revenge and asked for half of his heart to be devoid of feeling. As a result, the bartender reveling in his success suddenly felt a dreadful twinge in his heart. Everything went numb, and surrounded by his riches, he collapsed, unable to enjoy his newfound wealth.